All right, guys, so I got a hold of the Line 6 wireless, uh, the G10 little system, and it is extremely, extremely easy to use. I was going to show you how, how easy it is to set it up and use it. It's a piece of cake. It actually changes between guitars effortlessly, and it pairs up with its bass and its transmitter. They pair up effortlessly. You don't have to push any buttons. You don't really have to do anything. It's awesome. I really like it a lot. I've used it a little bit so far a couple of days and I've read all the comments about how fragile the USB port is. The power supply port, which is micro USB like a cell phone. But I mean, I think if you just don't go crazy with it, it'll be okay. And I, we'll see. I mean, I may do a follow up on this video and tell you how long it lasted. I've had it about half a week now. So I'm going to cut scene and show you what's involved to set it up and how easy and quick and simple it is. Okay, so literally, I've got this as my practice amp in the living room. It's a little Marshall Code 50. I may do a video on this amp too. I really, I don't love it, but it's not bad. It's got dust on it. But this is what you have. This is what you get. You get the Relay Line 6 G10, and that's the base, and it's the power supply as well. And this is the transmitter. When it's solid green light, it means that it's fully charged and has eight hours of use. That, that base lights up white whenever they're paired, whenever they, it knows it's a paired piece. Here's how it powers. Again, micro USB power. It's a short cable that it comes with. Goes into this. It's USB though, so you could use a longer one. So you could pull this off like that, and it's just in USB 2.0. So you could get a longer cable but you have to have this plugged in for it to work, by the way. And that's all you need is your amp, your cable, and your wireless system. So now I'll plug it in and show you how easy it is to make it work. So to hook this up and use it is extremely simple. Um, if you come over here and you look at your base and it's charged and they're paired, the white means they're paired, and the green means it's got a solid charge on it, then all you have to really do is you want to come to the back and you need to connect one of your inputs to the, I mean the output into the input over here. So it's audio out to your input. So I'm just going to use, I've got like little cables too long, so I'm kind of tied it up. I was going to plug it up like this. And I'm going to turn my amp on. I'm going to pull this off though, because I think it'll transmit noise. There's actually a kill switch button right here, so that whenever you unplug from your guitar, like whenever you have standard and you're in a gig or whatever or practice, you know how you unplug and it makes all that noise, it'll kill that. So that's really, really handy. So I'm going to turn, plug this in and it should pair up and it'll turn green and that means it's good. And now I'm going to switch my amp on. I'm not sure where the volume is, we'll see. As far as I know, I don't even know exactly how far, but I can come all the way to my room. Got a little bit of uh, guitar equipment in here. Still hear it. I'm going through walls. There's two rooms and a closet between us, all the way back to my living room, and you can still hear it just fine. So, follow me this way. So here's how you change between guitars. Piece of cake. It already knows the pairing, so it doesn't matter which guitar you put it in. Unplug, you notice there was no noise and feedback. Yes. You're in a show, you need to switch between another guitar. Simple as this.
pair it up. This is my drop D tuning, so no noise again, it killed the signal, and now you're between your first guitar and your second that quick. wireless kit my buddy says that that pickup jack in the back where you plug your power in is the weak point but we'll see how long it lasts so I think it's fantastic remember that it has a four minutes of inactivity where it'll kill itself and go into power save mode so if you do leave this plugged in and you're at practice or you're at, at home or whatever and you set it on your stand after four minutes it'll kill itself to help um, reserve its power supply and the specs say again that it has eight hours of continual use on a full charge. If it's blinking green when you plug it into the base, blinking green means that it doesn't have a full charge, but it's charging. And it goes from red to white to tell you that they're now paired and they understand each other. So if you ever have a second one of these that you need to pair to that, that's all you have to do is plug it in there and it automatically pairs. There's no buttons. It's hassle-free. It has the XLR in the back. You can actually use the two signals simultaneous. So you can run your instrument cable to one mic and XLR to a board or to anything else. I mean, it's awesome. I like it. It cost me around 150 bucks on eBay, and that seems like a steal. So I think it's awesome so far. Take care, guys.